Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be playing Sequest, based off of the series. Playing the game is a lot like watching the series. You go around helping people, you fight bad guys, you complete missions. That's what it all comes down to. You'll prevent stuff like oil leaks, you'll gather up nuclear material to keep terrorists from getting their hands on it, and of course you'll sink enemy submarines and discover new things. It's a pretty simple concept, but it's pretty tough to play. In fact, you really have to pay attention to what you're doing. You can pick any kind of weapons you want. By pushing the Y button, you choose your primary attack, and by pushing the B button, you choose your secondary attack. There are so many different types of torpedoes in that that I cannot really label them all. In fact, uh, I don't even have the instructions, so I don't even know what torpedoes what, to be honest. What makes this game so difficult is you have to adjust your level in order to hit them. What I mean by that is you have to use the X button or the A button to lower yourself or raise yourself even higher. You can only go so far, but you have to do it. And the problem is, the enemy could be higher than you or lower than you. And if the enemy's lower than you, your torpedo doesn't hit. It takes a little while to get used to that, but it doesn't take too long for you to catch on. So it's not really that bad. But you have to master navigation, and oh boy, that's easier said than done, believe me. I've been looking at this thing long enough and I still can't quite figure it out. Except by trial and error, or by memory. Once you get to the right places, you can do missions. And each mission requires you to do one thing or another. It depends what you choose in order to complete the mission. You could use the speeder, which is a gunship basically, or a stinger, which again is a gunship, but it's even faster. You could use Darwin the talking dolphin, but he ain't good for too much, I'm afraid. You could use the HR probe or hyper reality probe to do certain things. Then there's the sea crab, which can pick up things or rescue people, take your pick. Then there's the sea truck, which can store objects, because, you know, it's a truck, so of course it can pick up stuff like that. You go through all these missions, and once you complete them all, you move on. Of course, if you fail one mission, the game is over. It's a fun game, but it's hard as hell, because there's some parts that I have not been able to get through. Like this one, for instance. I have to shut down a nuclear reactor by getting through all these doors before they close right in front of me. And I have picked the speeder, which is the fastest object in the water, and I can't get through. Some people claim you can make it through, but I don't buy it. That scene is just impossible. Fortunately, you do have passwords to get to the next level. All you have to do is look them up online. It's a pretty fun game, but it's got some real complicated stuff in here. In fact, I would only recommend this game if you have a lot of time on your hands, a lot of patience, and especially if you like something that gives you a real good challenge. Because I can guarantee you, this game does just that. If you love a real challenge, you might want to give this one a try. This is Movie Fan, signing off.